you've arrived! Welcome to my puppet theatre. Do you hear that sound? Those are the bells of Notre Dame. Listen, they're beautiful, no? You know there is a tale behind those bells. It is a tale of a man and a monster. To go right to the story, click on the hero of our tale, Quasimodo. If you'd like to learn how we can play together, click on me. Okay. If you'd like to read and play along with the story, click on the picture of Hugo and Victor together. If you want to just sit back and listen to the story, click on the picture of Victor reading. If you'd like to go right to your favorite part of the story, click on the picture of Laverne and the Pigeons. To go to your favorite game, throw your tomato at the picture of Hugo juggling. Whenever you're ready to leave, just click here on the picture of the door. Now, let me tell you how to get around my puppet theater when you're in the story. When you're ready to go to the next page, click here. To go back a page, click over here. If you'd like to come back to my puppet theater to see these choices again, click here on the picture of the tomato. And finally, if you ever need any help, just click here on the picture of me. Now, my friend, <laughs> it's lucky I'm doing my laundry this weekend. Once again, if you'd like... Oof. Oh, what a mess! As I was saying, if... C'est bon! Off we go! Poor Quasimodo, he looked like a ghoul, but inside was meek and mild. And Frollo, who raised him, was wicked and cruel, and he seldom ever smiled. Frollo sent the poor boy to the tower, said his face was a cause for alarm. Alone there he'd stay, gazing down every day from the bell. The bells of Notre Dame. Poor Quasimodo was so lonely. Frollo had kept him locked in the bell tower all his life. Quasimodo wished he could be with other people. Quasimodo's only friends were three gargoyles named Hugo, Victor, and Laverne, and the little bird. It's a perfect day to fly, the festival of fools. Go on! Nobody wants to be cooped up here forever. Friends, people you like, people you play with. Quasimodo had four friends. Hugo, Victor, and Laverne. Stone statues, also called gargoyles, who were Quasimodo's friends. They lived with him in the bell tower. Bird. A small feathered animal that flies. This baby bird hadn't tried to fly yet. Are you ready to fly? Go on! You can do it! Uh, 
such manners. started yet? Do you mind? Don't you ever migrate? At the festival, I I could see acrobats. Hey, whoa, 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 watch the horns! Yeah. At the festival, I I could see acrobats. Hey, whoa, 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 watch the horns! Yeah. Nothing like watching the old festival of fools, eh, Quasi? Yeah. Watching. Hmm. Show. Hey, what did I say? Quasi, did you ever think of actually going to the festival? A splendid educational experience. Did it be great? The gargoyles couldn't bear to see their friend so unhappy. Quasimodo, we insist you attend the festival. <gasps> After all, Quasi, nobody wants to be cooped up here forever. Gargoyles. Statues that look like scary birds or monsters. Although they looked strange, these gargoyles were nice to Quasimodo. Do lift your pinky when drinking tea. Oh. Couldn't bear. When you can't let things go on just as they are, Quasimodo's unhappiness made the gargoyles sad themselves. And they just had to do something about it. Friend. Someone you like. Someone you play with. The gargoyles liked Quasimodo and wanted him to be happy. Unhappy. To be sad. Quasimodo was sad about having to stay in the bell tower all the time. All right, my lady. Staring contest. Go! When you're at the festival, be polite. Do not wipe your nose on your sleeve. <laughs> Do not join the band by twanging your lip. <laughs> Do not play with your food. When you're at the festival, be polite. Do not wipe your nose on your sleeve. Hit it! 
bad. Buy it. All right, boys, all together now. And now for the big finale. Do not join the band by twanging your lip. If Quasi's going to the festival, he's going to need something to wear. Something formal that he'll need to be able to dance. <sighs> oh, rats! You beat me every time. I've got it, I've got it. Just feast your eyes on that. Maybe we should try something else. When you're at the festival, do kiss a lady on the head. <laughs> Perhaps something more comic, like that. I've got a good feeling about this one. Voila! No, no, no. This is it. This is the one. There. Hmm. Maybe something else. There. Maybe you're right. I'll go. Quasimodo? You're thinking of going to the festival. Dear boy, how can I protect you unless you stay up here? I... I'm sorry, Master. Of course, I'll stay. Quasimodo was sad that he couldn't go to the festival. But the gargoyles had a plan to cheer him up. Maybe you and the gargoyles can convince Quasimodo to go to the festival after all. Quasimodo loves the music of the bells, so let's play them for him. To get started, just click on the bells. To hear your song, click anywhere on the music sheet.
Very nice, my friend. If you'd like to save your song so you can play it again later, click on the Save ribbon. To erase your song and start a new one, click on the eraser. Finally, to get one of the other gargoyles in on the fun, just click on one of them. Click again to leave the gargoyle on the stage. That sounded great, you guys. Ha-ha! <laughs> you are a maestro with the bells! Quasimodo was so happy that he decided he would go to the festival, just for a little while. So, he slipped out. Meanwhile, a beautiful young gypsy named Esmeralda danced in the streets below. Frollo thought all gypsies were thieves and ordered his soldiers to bully them. As Esmeralda danced, she drew the attention of a young army captain named Phoebus. But he wasn't the only one watching her. Where'd you steal the money? I earned it. By dancing. Ah, my friend, you're just in time to help Esmeralda. Click on different things in the alley and see if you can bring them over to her. Esmeralda, a beautiful gypsy woman. Attention! To notice someone, Phoebus saw Esmeralda dancing. What a woman! <laughs> Captain! A person in charge of a group of soldiers. Phoebus was a leader in the army. Phoebus, a handsome army captain. Watching to look at someone. People were looking at Esmeralda dancing. What a woman. <laughs> what a woman. <laughs> I've got 
got you this time! <laughs> We've got you now! <laughs> Jolly, come on! Hey! Where'd she go? Excuse me, Lieutenant, but now that you're free, perhaps you could take me to Judge Frollo. Yes, Captain! And so, the soldiers brought Phoebus to Frollo to begin his new job as Captain of Frollo's Army. Frollo was in the Cathedral Square, where the Festival of Fools was already underway. The Festival of Fools was the silliest day of the year. Everything was topsy-turvy, and the crowd was looking for the person with the ugliest face to be the king of the festival. And now, to crown the king of fools! What? <laughs> festival! A special celebration where everybody has a good time. The people of Paris celebrated the Festival of Fools every year, where everyone played games and ate good food. Topsy-turvy! Upside down, mixed up or backwards. On Topsy-turvy Day, everything was mixed up. Crowd. A large group of people. The people who were at the festival. <laughs> king. A ruler who wears a crown. The king of the festival was a special leader just for the day. People do like me. <laughs> Welcome to the festival, my friend. You can go here, you can go there. You'll need to hunt to find me at the fair. I so despise these peasant festivals. That girl. I wonder who she is. <coughs> okay, that's it, Achilles. Tomorrow, you start obedience school. Jacques the Magnificent is trying to get across his tightrope, but those pesky chickens keep landing on his pole and knocking him off balance. 
You can help Jacques keep his balance by adding and taking away chickens from the pool. To start, just click on Jacques. To add a chicken, click on a chicken in the crate and bring it over to the pool. To take a chicken away, click on it and move it off the pool. I'm getting too old for this. Play remarkable talents for keeping Jacques in balance. To help Jacques across the tightrope again, just click on Jacques. My friend, click on Jacques to start the show and watch out for those chickens!
I knew you could find me. Our little band is all ready for you. Click on me, and you can sing along with us. From the top, everyone! Topsy-turvy! Once a year, we throw a party here in town. Once a year, we turn all Paris upside down. Every man's a king and every king's a clown. Once again, it's topsy-turvy day. Good is bad and bad is worse than West is East. On the day, we think the most of those with the least. Everything is topsy-turvy at the Feast of Fools. Everything is upsy daisy! Everyone is acting crazy, dross is gold, and weeds are a bouquet. That's the way on Topsy Turvy Day! Mad and crazy, upsy daisy, Topsy Turvy Day! If you want to sing the song again, just click on me. If you'd like to try a different song, click on one of the musical notes on the banner over there. Alouette! Oh, Alouette! A one and a two and a... Alouette, gentille Alouette Alouette, je te plumerai Alouette, gentille Alouette Alouette, je te plumerai Je te plumerai la tête Je te plumerai la tête et la tête et la tête. Alouette, alouette, oh! Alouette, gentil alouette, alouette, je te plumerai. Alouette, gentil alouette, alouette, je te plumerai. Je te plumerai les pieds, je te plumerai les pieds et les pieds et les pieds. Alouette, alouette, oh! Alouette, gentil alouette, alouette, je te plumerai. Alouette, gentil alouette, alouette, je te plumerai. Hey! 
If you want to sing the song again, just click on me. If you'd like to try a different song, click on one of the musical notes on the banner over there. Frère Jacques! All right, everyone! Frère Jacques! Frère Jacques, Frère Jacques, dormez-vous, dormez-vous. Sonnez les matines, sonnez les matines, ding, ding, dong, ding, ding, dong. Are you sleeping, are you sleeping, Brother John, Brother John? Morning bells are ringing, morning bells are ringing, ding, ding, dong. Ding, ding, dong, Frère Jacques, Frère Jacques, ding, ding, dong. <laughs> if you want to sing the song again, just click on me. If you'd like to try a different song, click on one of the musical notes on the banner over there. Au revoir! See you again, my friend! Girl, I wonder who she is. Okay, that's it, Achilles. Tomorrow you start obedience school. I forbid you to rescue him. Justice! 
Arrest her! Esmeralda ran into Notre Dame to hide from Frollo's soldiers. Phoebus saw her and followed her inside. He wanted to help her, but she didn't trust him. What are you doing here? Whoa, 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 whoa. I, I just want to talk. Notre Dame, the largest, most beautiful church in Paris. Quasimodo lived in Notre Dame. Followed. To go after someone. Esmeralda went into the cathedral and Phoebus went in after her. Inside. To be in a building, not outdoors. Esmeralda and Phoebus went into the cathedral. Help! To make things easier or better for someone. Esmeralda had helped Quasimodo get away from the soldiers, and now Phoebus wanted to do the same thing for her. Trust! To believe someone will do the right thing or take care of you. Esmeralda didn't know Phoebus, and thought he might hurt her. Soldiers, you're all alike. I, uh, <laughs> I think I may be falling for you. Getting warm in here. Soldiers, you're all alike. I, uh, <laughs> I think I may be falling for you. Whoa, candles. And it's not even my birthday. Good work, Captain. Now arrest her. You tricked me. I'm sorry, sir. She claimed sanctuary. We can't arrest her while she's in the church. Then let this be her prison. Esmeralda spotted Quasimodo and followed him up to the bell tower. Quasimodo was confused by her kindness because Frollo had told him that all gypsies were evil. How could a man as cruel as Frollo have raised someone like you? Cruel? Oh no. He took me in when nobody wanted me. I'm a monster, you know. Hmm. Give me your hand. Spotted. To see or find, Phoebus saw Esmeralda run into the cathedral. Confused. When you don't know what to think, Quasimodo expected gypsies to be bad. But Esmeralda had done a good thing when she helped him. Kindness. 
when someone is nice to you. Esmeralda was nice when she helped Quasimodo at the festival. This line says, you're sweet. Oh. Gypsies, a group of people who move from place to place. Many gypsies earned food and money by singing and dancing or telling stories. Evil, someone who is bad or mean and does wrong things. Frollo believed the gypsies were bad people. This one says, you're an artist. It does? This line says, you're sweet. Oh. This one says, you're an artist. It does? I just love Greek architecture. Man, huh, they're always letting you down. How do you do? <laughs> How do you do? <laughs> Psst. Hey, Quasi. The ladies love it when you play music for them. You don't seem evil at all. And you don't seem like a monster. Maybe Frollo was wrong about both of us. You helped me, now I will help you. Quasimodo knew Esmeralda couldn't stay in the cathedral. But how was she to get out? There were guards at every door. Ah, but our Quasimodo, he had a plan. He would carry her down the cathedral walls. Quasi, you've done this before, right? Just hang on and don't look down. Can you help Quasimodo carry Esmeralda safely to the bottom of the cathedral? To begin, click on Quasimodo, then move the arrow in the direction you want Quasi to walk. When the arrow is over something, Quasi can climb up climb down or use, the arrow will change into a hand. The shape of the hand will tell you what Quasi can do. Click and see what happens. For a harder or easier way down the cathedral, click here. Click on Quasi and we'll be on our way. To choose which path you want to... Ugh. 
Hmm. Try moving Quasi in a different direction. The cathedral can be tricky, eh, my friend? Hmm. Try moving quasi in a dip. The cathedral can be uh. tricky. My friend, you got Quasimodo and Esmeralda all the way to the bottom of the cathedral. Wonderful! To climb down the cathedral again, click on the banner and choose a path. If you're ready to move on with the story, click here. I... I don't know how to thank you. Oh, it... it, it was nothing. Now please, you must go. When Frollo discovered that Esmeralda had escaped, he became so angry. He ordered Phoebus to arrest every gypsy in Paris, even if it meant burning the entire city. But Phoebus refused to hurt innocent people. Now, Frollo ordered the soldiers to arrest Phoebus. The good captain managed to escape, but he was hurt by Frollo's men. Esmeralda found Phoebus and took him to the bell tower, where Quasimodo agreed to hide him. When you wear this woven band, you hold our hideout in your hand. Hurry! Frollo's coming! Good evening, Quasimodo. Bell Tower, the tallest part of the cathedral where the bells were kept. Quasimodo lived in the Bell Tower. Agreed to share the same idea with others. Quasimodo and Esmeralda decided together to keep Phoebus safe. Hide to be in a secret place where no one can see or find you. Frollo would not look for Phoebus in the bell tower. Oh, my head. Uh, some bread? We need to clean him up. Bring me some soap. That rope? Soap! 
Listen carefully. I need some soap. Not a boat. Soap. Bring me some soap. No, not a goat. Soap. Well, you dumb birds. We need to clean him up. Bring me some soap. Not rope. Soap. Master, uh, some grapes? When will you learn, Quasimodo? I am your only friend. When will you learn, Quasimodo? I am your only friend. the gypsy escape, but I know where she's hiding. I will attack at dawn. Master, no! Quasimodo and Phoebus needed to warn Esmeralda and the other gypsies about Frollo's attack. With Esmeralda's necklace as their only clue, they set out to find the gypsy's secret hiding place, the Court of Miracles. Well, it's not Greek, that's clear. Hmm, I wonder if she gave us the wrong necklace. Phoebus, it's not writing, it's a code. Look! Quasimodo is right, my friend. The secret is in the shapes on Esmeralda's necklace. Turn the pieces of the floor puzzle until they match the shape on the necklace. Each time you click on a piece, it will turn until it locks in the right place. You can make your search easier or harder by clicking here. Good luck, mon ami! So, my friend, how difficult would you like to make your search? One star means it should be pretty easy to find the way. Two stars means it's not too easy but not too hard either. Three stars and you're in for a challenge! That's the one! Is it me, or did it just get a lot brighter in here? Explore around by clicking on the different objects in the room. Look, Phoebus, it fits! Again, my friend. Now, let's see if you can find the shape that matches the keyhole on the hanging weight.
Okay, Phoebus. Click on as many objects as you can find. That must be it, Phoebus. I think we're getting closer. I knew we could do it. Whoa, this place is strange. Marvelous! Now all you have to do is find the shape that matches the lock on the wall. That must be the hideout. Come on, Phoebus. We've got to warn Esmeralda. You did it, mon ami! You found the Court of Miracles! To search for the Court of Miracles again, click on the banner and then on a row of stars. To move on with the story, click here. Uh-oh. I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> Take him away! <laughs> and Phoebus had found the Court of Miracles. At first, Clopin and the other gypsies thought the two were spies. Stop! These men are our friends! <sighs> Frollo attacks at dawn! <laughs> Quick! We must leave! Pack up everything! Lopin, the leader of the gypsies. <laughs> Thought. To have an idea. Clopin and the gypsies were worried that Phoebus and Quasimodo had come to hurt them. Spies. People who find secrets and take them to others. Clopin thought Quasimodo and Phoebus would trick him. All right, let's get these cards out of here. Come on, come on, I haven't got all night. All right, let's try it again. Easy now. Whoa. Hey, where'd everybody go?
I think maybe that bag's a little small. Things aren't always what they seem. Here, let me give you a hand. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Here, let me help you. Quasimodo, <gasps> so kind of you to lead me here. Arrest them all. <gasps> no. Frollo's soldiers arrested the gypsies and tied up poor Esmeralda in the cathedral square. Quasimodo was taken to the bell tower and locked in chains. It seemed that all was lost. Come on, Quasi! You can't let Frollo win! He already has. Arrested. To stop someone and put them in jail. Frollo thought the gypsies were breaking his laws and wanted them stopped. Soldiers. People who are in the army. These soldiers worked for Frollo and obeyed his command. Gypsies, a group of people who move from place to place. The gypsies were Esmeralda's friends. Bell Tower, the tallest part of the cathedral where the bells are kept. The bell tower was high above the cathedral square. Locked, in chains. To be tied up in chains that you can't open unless you have a key. Quasimodo couldn't get out of the chains because he didn't have the key. You guys are right. Seemed. Something that might be true. Things looked so bad that Quasimodo didn't think they could get better. Boys, Quasi needs our help. Time for our secret weapon. Two bits, four bits, six bits of freight. Come on, Quasi! Give those chains a yank! <sighs> you guys are right. Chains! Uh. Rick'em! Rack'em! Chuck'em! Shake'em! Pull those chains, chains and really break them. Yeah. yeah! She helped me! The time has come, Gypsy. Quasimodo had disobeyed him and ordered his men to attack the cathedral. Fortunately, the gargoyles were ready for them. Thank goodness you're here, my friend. The gargoyles need your help to keep the soldiers from getting into the cathedral. To begin, 
click on Hugo and move him to Laverne or Victor to pick up a crate. When you've got Hugo right above one of those pesky soldiers, click and Hugo will drop the crate onto him. To make the game harder or easier, click here. Oh no! Here come ten soldiers! Good luck, my friend! Oops! Don't worry! Hey! You're doing great! Hey! You and Hugo make quite a team! Only three more soldiers. Hey! You did it, my friend. Not a single soldier left. If you're ready for another round with the soldiers, click on Hugo. For a harder or easier game, click on the banner and then on a row of stars. When you're ready to go on with the story, click down here. I did it! I'm a hero! Oh. <clears throat> oh, yeah. We did it. We're heroes! Thanks to the gargoyle's help, Frollo's soldiers were defeated. Because Quasimodo had claimed sanctuary by law, he and Esmeralda were safe as long as they stayed inside the cathedral. That Frollo, he would stop at nothing to get her. Frollo snuck into the cathedral and found Quasimodo. The two of them fought. Oh, it was a dreadful struggle. Then, suddenly, Frollo stepped back. <gasps> and there. Woo! That part always scares me. Ah, but our story, it is not over yet. All the people of Paris were happy. The cruel Frollo was gone forever. Esmeralda, Phoebus, and all the gypsies were safe. But what of our friend, Osimodo? Paris, the beautiful capital city of France, the city where Quasimodo lived. Happy to be joyful. The people were glad they were safe from Frollo's wickedness. Cruel, mean and unfair. Frollo had been cruel to Quasimodo. Forever. Always. Frollo was gone for good and would never come back. Safe. To be free from danger. Frollo couldn't hurt the gypsies anymore. Here you are. <laughs> Phoebus, he's so happy. You did it, Quasimodo. <laughs>
Here you are. <laughs> Wasn't it a great day to fly? Like I said, nobody wants to be cooped up forever. <laughs> Three cheers for Quasimodo! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Here is a little to guess if you can sing the bells of Notre Dame. What makes a monster and what makes a man sing the bells of Notre Dame? And the people all cheered Quasimodo, for they saw he could never do harm. And joy now surrounded the hunchback who sounded the bells. The bells of Notre Dame! Wasn't that a great story? <laughs> it's lucky I'm doing my laundry this weekend. Moving right along. Wasn't that a great story? Now, what would you like to do? Are you sure you want to leave? Yes? No? What a good time we had, eh, my friend? See you next time. <laughs>